Hey, what's up everybody? You're watching Ready, Set, Drone, and today we're gonna take this Phantom 4 Pro and drop it out of the sky from at least 100 feet. Hold on, what? All right, so we have here, first of all, Philip, um, Philip Ulrich. Check out, I'll put a link in the description to his channel below. He's got more about this and more with the Phantom 4 Pro if you wanna see it. But before you go there, watch this video. Philip, what do we have here? So this is the Para Zero um, Safe Air for the Phantom. They have, a, they have a Safe Air for other models as well, um, mostly for like the M300s and above, like right. the bigger, commercial bigger class. Commercial drones. But uh, this is a recent product of theirs, um, and it's for the Phantom 4 series specifically. And what's it designed to do? It's designed to deploy a parachute and stop the propellers from spinning. So. It actually has these little nubs here, or little arms that come out, and they, right now, they're clear, so the props can turn, but if it were to deploy, it would actually rotate, the parachute deploys, the props stop spinning, and down it comes gently, uh, like a butterfly. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take it, we have a big empty field out behind us, take it up in the air, we haven't flown with it on here yet, so probably just get a little feel for it of how it's gonna fly, and then see how it does uh, at 100 feet. And hopefully we can try it a couple of times because this is repackable and reusable, correct? Right, correct. All the instructions to do that are on both the ParaZero uh, YouTube channel as well as Philip's, he's gonna show you. And you know, quite honestly, I'd watch both because I think they show you, and then Philip shows you kind of real world, like, oh, these are the little gotchas, right? Yeah, um, I, I wouldn't rely on my instructions, but uh, you can use my experience to help guide you. <laughs> yes, well, it's one of those things where, you know, they always say, uh, pack once, check twice, kind of thing so all right how's the battery looking on this guy 100 yes okay, nice um well we'll go set it down we'll take off and we'll first our, try our first deployment what we're going to try to do because the field's behind us and the wind is blowing that away behind us we're going to kind of leave it over in this area a little bit take it to 100 feet deploy the chute and the way we're going to do that is actually stopping the uh, propellers now one quick thing also to note i should have said this in the beginning this thing is completely independent of the drone it doesn't use the drone's power it doesn't use the drone software it just has accelerometers and gyroscopes in it that when they say oh no we're falling it deploys the chute right. is my understanding right. so i think you could literally connect this to about anything and throw it off of you know a high structure and it would probably deploy and work um, which is what I wanted to do first, but Philip was like, nah, let's just take the drone up. Yeah, it's just a waste of time. Uh, I'd rather just get out here and get it done. He has no regard I'm, for this drone. I'm very nervous. He I bought this drone used really cheap. So. Uh, yeah, uh, but I'm still nervous. <laughs> All right, well, let's give it a shot. All right. So I had to find the emergency stop mode because I forgot how to do it. And I found it right here underneath the advanced settings underneath the aircraft. And what it is is you take your uh, top, or take, sorry, you take your left control stick, put it to the down right corner, and then press your um, return to home button at the same time that you're doing that. So that should, that should stop the motors. Should we try it real quick? Can yeah, we, we do it on the ground? And then just do it. Okay. Okay. That worked. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Here's to hoping good things happen. All right, so I'm gonna go up to 150 feet. Okay, I'm at I'm at 125 now. Okay, I'm at 130. Okay. And now I'm at 158 actually. All right, I'm at almost 200. That seems too low. Can I can I do 200? Sure. All right, I'm gonna go 200. But I would I would come back closer to us. The wind is blowing hard that way. It's gonna drift that direction. So. All right, ready? Yeah, I still got you centered. Three, two, one. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. It worked. It worked. One. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. It worked. It worked. Oh, wow. 
That, that was a lot better than I thought. So you have to actually hold it and hold it and hold it. Yeah, it has to fall a little ways first. Yeah. I think the battery fell out. I saw it eject. The do, battery do, for the device? No, for, for the, the drone. drone. It's just, it's disconnected right now. So uh, what what was your what was your experience there? Um, very nervous. I think I saw the drone actually flip upside down, which is unnerving to say the least. And then shortly thereafter, the parachute actually deployed pretty quickly. Um, but I think I saw the battery pop out once it hit the ground. So it's still like it looked like it hit the ground with some force. Um, so I'm kind of curious what it's going to look like when we get over oh, there. Wait a minute. Oh, what is this? This is... That's, uh, that's part of the, uh, the assembly. So that's what um, pops the, the parachute up. Okay. And then the actual top is right here. You have to make sure you retrieve these, otherwise you you're not... You can't do it again. Yeah, you can't do it again. Okay. So there's well, those. The field worked out. This, this was a good size field to do this in. And like it didn't even go very far. Yes, this is a controlled environment, so we are not doing anything dangerous. True. Um, and there's no one here to get harmed. Except for the drone. So okay, there's the battery. The battery. Out, prop out. It's and upside down, so that's not great. The props look okay. Uh, ooh. Yeah, landing gear is definitely broken. Oh, yep, yep. In so, places. yeah, we're not going to be able to do this again today. Uh -huh. um, the motors look okay. The arms look okay. I think it's just the landing gear. Look at the chute. It's just like wanting to go. It's a very, uh, very well-designed chute. Yeah. And what's it made of? I don't know. And what's it feel like? It's very light. It's like it's like cloth, but it's super lightweight. All right. Well, so All right. I'll, um, I'll grab the battery. Okay. So my issue is us doing it again. We're gonna break the gimbal if there's oh. no landing gear to break, which uh, is a lot more expensive. Yeah, yeah. True. True. Very true. It's doing the tilt and the, all the stuff it usually does when it yeah. comes on. It's flex, it's flexing to make sure it can move around okay. So what happened was um, it hit the landing gear really hard. It cracked in two places on this side, um, at the bottom and here. And then on this side, it looks like it um, cracked at the back and then also right here. So two places on this side as well. Um, so pretty much the landing gear is toast. It's toast. The gimbal is still good though. I don't, yeah, I don't see any damage, damage to that. The gimbal got damaged. And I think the landing gear has like antennas and stuff inside it. Yeah. So it's kind of important that it's there. Together, yeah. Plus it protects the gimbal. Yeah, with the, with the landing gear already gone, I don't want to risk the, the gimbal going next. So here's the question. Did it do what it was supposed to do? Yes. It did, it did. It, it, the drone started to fall. We had a little bit of trouble Oof. making um, the emergency stop. The emergency stop doesn't happen instantly. It takes a couple seconds. Yeah. And once we realized that and we did it, it did um, start to drop, deployed instantly, deployed smoothly, um, and came down very smoothly. Unfortunately, I looked up at it the moment it deployed, and I think I missed the shot with a Mavic, but I did get a percentage of it landing. But here's the thing, guys. Um, this is not a toy, right? This is not something designed to be played with um, like we're doing today. And I'd say we're testing it. I mean, I think that's a fair yeah. assessment. Controlled environment, like we said, very cold day, actually, and uh, very gloomy. Um, but ultimately, it did what it was supposed to do. And I'm not saying that because I want to paint a rosy picture, but I am saying that if it was supposed to slow the thing down, it would have hurt somebody a lot worse had it fallen at terminal velocity than it fell, because it fell pretty slowly. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So I guess the ultimate thing for me to say about this is, it is a good safety device, and certainly I don't think your drone's gonna go completely unscathed when it lands, um, you know, unless you're really lucky. I'd say there's a good chance that it's gonna end up happening, you know, the same thing's gonna end up happening here. And so if you do use one, if you're trying to get a waiver or if you're trying to fly over people or something and you wanna be able to have that extra safety measure, that's great. Uh, I think it's a good idea to really understand how to put it on, really understand how to pack it, really understand how it deploys and turn it on and recharge it and update the firmware and all the stuff you need 
need to do. But ultimately, I don't think it's worth going out and, and dropping your drone on purpose like we did. Yeah, we did something very dumb. Don't do this at home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so there you go. If you like this video, please uh, subscribe to Ready, Set, Drone and also to Philip's channel, which I'll have a link in the description below. Also, check out ParaZero's channel. There's a bunch of videos that they have. Um, they have a pretty good library of videos about this device. I, I think this is something that's act actually going to be really great for the drone community. I just think that it's something that should be taken as a serious toy or a serious tool and not a tool. Toy. Serious toy. A serious toy, <laughs> not a not a goofy toy. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Ready, Set, Drone.